Queen Camilla jokes about the job shed like to take away from King Charles. The Queen made the quip about the post shed happily take over from her husband. Queen Camilla has revealed the royal roll shed like to take over from her husband King Charles. The Queen, 76, brought up the topic during her visit to the Garden Museum in London on June 12 as she toured the gardening Bohemia. Bloomsbury Women Outdoors Exhibit In an impromptu speech, Queen Camilla said, I don't know how many visits I've paid here, quite a lot. I know my husband's patron but I might have to nudge him, I'd quite like to take that one away from him. Her honest comment sparked laughs from those gathered, and she added, it's such a special place that every time I'm asked. I just have to come back again and I think this wonderful exhibition celebrating women in gardening is so important. Beyond his key roles as Sovereign of the United Kingdom and Commonwealth Realms, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces and Head of the Royal Family. King Charles is also Royal Patron of the Garden Museum, among many other patronages. The King, 75, continues in the post he previously held as the Prince of Wales, aligning with his lifelong passions of gardening, sustainability and the outdoors. The role is one of several that the King has retained in the transition since his accession in September 2022. On May 3, Buckingham Palace shared a major update about the Royal Patronage Review of the organisations that Queen Elizabeth formally supported. It's understood that the late Queen was patron of 492 groups at the time of her death. And the palace announced that 376 will be retained by King Charles, Queen Camilla or other members of the royal family. Following His Majesty, the King's accession in September 2022, a major review of more than 1,000 royal patronages and charity presidencies has been undertaken to mark the first anniversary of Their Majesty's coronation. The conclusions will be shared with relevant organizations in the coming week, the palace said in a statement. The full list is expected in due course, and King Charles' post with the Garden Museum gives a hint about what his other affiliations might look like. It's standard for the sovereign to be patron rather than president. And members of the royal family are not involved with the governance or daily operations of the organizations they support. During her solo stop at the Garden Museum, Queen Camilla reunited with gardening expert and television presenter Alan Titchmarsh and florist Shane Connolly, who designed the florals for historic coronation in May 2023 as well as her 2005 wedding to the future King Charles. Camilla checked out the Gardening Bohemia display, which explores the gardens of Virginia Woolf, Vanessa Bell, Vita Sackville West and Ottilene Morrill as well as a 17th-century tapestry and plans for the designs of the gardens at Buckingham Palace. She also popped into a clay for dementia session inspired by the exhibit, and met volunteers, who help run the free workshops for individuals navigating dementia and their caretakers. Queen Camilla received a posy on her way out of the garden museum, and stopped to smell the flowers. Queen Camilla spoke about her love of gardening in the documentary that accompanied her Country Life magazine cover in 2022. I love gardening, it's therapeutic, go into the garden, get on with it, Camilla said, according to Homes and Gardens. This weekend, Queen Camilla will ride alongside King Charles at Trooping the Colour as he participates in the parade in a modified way amid his cancer treatment. 
The palace previously announced that the king would travel by carriage on June 15 at the British Army's epic procession for his official birthday as sovereign. Switching up tradition as H is horseback ridden in years past.